Oh, okay. Start. Okay. Taking the video, dude. Yeah, my man. She weighs in at a petite 6.6 million tons. <laughs> Behind the dam, you can see Lake Mead, the largest man-made reservoir in the United States. It has a storage capacity of 9.2 trillion gallons of water. <laughs> Mama, what's up? This is where the water is drawn from hundreds of feet below the surface of the lake and spills through the turbines, flowing on downstream. The water comes out of the turbines at an average temperature of 53 to 55 degrees. At the base, you see two long buildings, one on each side of the canyon. These house the 17 generators that create the electrical energy that provides the funding for the operation and maintenance of this facility. This allows Hoover Dam to operate without the use of taxpayer dollars. You'll notice the roofs on both buildings appear to have wires coming out of them. This is called the takeoff structure. From the takeoff structure, the wires carry the electricity up and over the canyon walls at 230,000 volts. The towers that support and direct the wires are leaning into the canyon. These are cantilever towers designed to ensure that the wires do not touch the walls of the canyon and short out. Now look down there. What to be here? And you will see a rectangular concrete building with six holes. This is the bow house. There are two, one on each side of the canyon. Each building contains two 90-inch jet flow gates. These gates allow us to run water around the turbines if necessary. All right.